Blake, we have come to the part of the interview that is called the Kegel exercise. Oh, God. We <laughs> <laughs> just fill in the blank. Okay. Right? Oh, wow. Close friends describe me as... Uh, hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a foodie, a foodie. Strangers describe me as... Uh, smiley? <laughs> oh, this is a tough one for you. My last meal would... Or maybe easy. Mm -hmm. My last meal would be what? And I would eat it with whom? Creamy truffle pepper deli from Scully Nutella. Mm -hmm. And I'd eat it with my family. Have you had that? No. Oh, boy, let's go right now. I, how do you eat pasta and look like this? Well, you just eat pasta. I don't know. You, 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 there's a bad, there's a healthy balance. My last meal. What would be, right. Well, who cares meal? at what's that point? What's your last meal? Oh my. Well, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna go with whatever you say because I know what's you know what you're talking though? about. Um, I would go with the popper deli. That you said. <laughs> Come on though. What would it be? I, I don't. The first thing that comes to mind is some kind of amazing hamburger. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at the Polo Bar hamburger or something. I've never had that one. Oh, that's a good one. Is it? Yeah. It's great. Hmm. Well, Umami opened here in this city. Uh, umami is great. And the Manly Burger at Umami. Like oh, I, the Manly Burger. Yeah. I get one incredible. of those and then one of the four chili burgers. And then you cut them in half and then you create <laughs> one burger. What? And then you give the other half to whoever you're with. That's the best. Yeah. The manly burger, which mm -hmm. has like onion rings on it, and then the with chili bacon and burger. Cheese. And then the four chili burger, which is a white cheese with four different chilies on it, but they're not spicy chilies, but they're a little spicy. And then you cut each in half, and then you make one burger, and then you eat it from the center, so you get <laughs> part of each. Are you living in my head? <laughs> what is wrong? I'm just flirting. <laughs> <laughs> the song that always makes me dance is... Um, Dog Days Are Over, Florence and the Machine. The movie I've seen the most times is? Wizard of Oz, probably. The book I'd take to a desert island. Glass Castle. It may be heresy, but blank is overrated. Um, well, let me get back to that. I really want to have, I'm very competitive, so I want to have great answers. <laughs> you can always pass, but okay, we'll, okay, get, we'll come, come back, back to it. We'll I want to come back to that one. I think I'm really good at? Cooking. I think I'm really bad at singing. I feel sexiest when I am tan. My greatest extravagance is mm, probably dark chocolate truffles. Mm. Truffles. That pasta, that creamy truffle oh pasta. My God, that sounds so amazing. Because that's something. But you not like. as amazing as the umami burger situation. No, that's better because, but, but like truffles are like decadent, but they're also expensive. They're like something you do like at a special occasion, and then don't do it anymore. But then you beg them to shave extra, but not charge you. <laughs> when I asked Ryan that, he goes, um, "Well, some people would say chocolate, but cocaine." <laughs> <laughs> the thing about the thing about myself. I've learned to love is my my heavy eyelids. Well, your eyelids don't look heavy, but because they're they're very contoured <laughs> with beautiful eye makeup. <laughs> the teacher I'm most grateful for is Mr. Newbauer, my show choir teacher in high school. What did he do for you? He put me in show choir when I can't sing or dance. <laughs> um, no, he he. I really felt like he. Um, I was I was so passionate about it, and I loved what I did, and, and I felt like he really saw me, and he really encouraged me, and and it's not like he was just looking for the most talented person. He was looking for the people that really cared and loved what they did, and and, and was nurturing whatever he could out of them, and and he gave me an opportunity when no one else would have, and and I'm really grateful for that. It and just it just takes one teacher. It does, and, and you know, everybody was really mean to him, and, and he ended up only being at our school for a year, but he had such an impact on my life, and, and I remember I told Ryan this story, and so he did something really special for me one year. He went out and found Mr. Neubauer in Illinois, oh, wow. and had uh, someone record a video message for me for my birthday from all these people that had meant something in my life, but Mr. Neubauer was one of them, and oh. it just like meant the world to me that, that he found him. I could talk about blank for hours on end, Movies or As food. A, or for, well, food. also food. Oh. Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I could talk it's about like food, food for you with hours. <laughs> yeah. For hours. Yeah. As a child, I dreamed of becoming... Happy. Not because I wasn't happy, um, but because I always wanted to, to remain happy and appreciative and grateful. Um, I, I always love that quote, do what you love, love what you do. So what I, I didn't know what I wanted to do for a living. I didn't know what I wanted to become, but I knew I always wanted to be happy. I can sum up my life in this bumper sticker. 
Oh, God. <laughs> well, I have such an aversion to bumper stickers. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Bumper stickers to me are so funny. I, you know, I, I can't sum up my life in a bumper sticker, but I can say that my favorite bumper sticker ever is my dad got a bumper sticker that, um, it said, my my kid can beat up your honor roll student. It was when everybody had their <laughs> honor roll things, um, which I thought was very funny. But, Maybe that um, does sum up your life. I wasn't beating anyone up, and I was the jerky honor roll student that was, like, not wanting to ever leave school because I was just, like, total... Oh, I was so... I loved school so much. But um, but I, I think because I was in denial that I knew I was, like, on a path to become an actor, so I was like, education, education, education! And, um, you know... I was fighting what, what, what was lying beneath. You were fighting fate. Ooh.